All the while I am escaping with E.T. Well, good day and welcome to the show. This week we're up at the Jackie Jackie system. We're out with the boys from CY Charters and I've got a gang of mates with me. Look at this beautiful barra. We've got lots of action on the show. Check her out. It's finally farewell to our fantasy island off the tip of Cape York. But not before we come to grips with a barrage of barracuda. That's a monster. And tackle the maze of twists and turns to tangle with some real wilderness barramundi. A long way south of the Cape, I'm still among the barra. And we show you how to throw a whole coral trout on the barbie. our halfway island camp where mates Mick, John and Levi are looking forward to a big last day. There's so many blackbirds coming in off the island to feed this morning and so I've decided right let's do a quick troll run right around the whole school. So we've got these beautiful big classic lures out there, huge big ones about yay big, blue water classics, the deep divers. Butte Shimano gear, we've got Stellas, a whole combination of really top quality gear. And the first strike on it goes to Mickey. Right, Mickey. Right. Yeah. First fish to the boat. Look at him, look at the smile. Look at the big smile. Yeehaw! Next on it's John. That's a good fish. Tighten the drag a bit, mate. That's it, you got him now. Staff, bring him in. Wow. This is on my brutal stick too. This is a good fish. Clear colour. Yeah, it's a poodle. Woo! They Second are. fish. Wow. Head a little more way. That's about it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. <laughs> Barracuda. I reckon John's would eat that one. That's it. Get the hooks out. Sells 360, these things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Now it's my turn. Oh, no. Go on. It's a Mac. Expect all the big predators just cruising that edge. Mac hook. Right. Nice Spaniard hook. There he is there, look at that. There. one of these beautiful eating fish. Well done, Skipper. So these are the lures we're using. These are the classic blue waters. They were brand new when we put them on. You can see all the teeth marks all across the body. Really good lure. Stays in the water at, at quite a good pace as well. John's got teeth marks on his shirt as well as his lure and a hard fighting fish on to boot. Mackerel too, I think. Yeah. Dark 
out for about an hour for a few barracuda, a few mackerel, to be able to cruise along and keep an eye on the sounder and you can actually see when there's a bit of a bump, a bit of a shale fish and uh, often trolling is a really good way to do that so you, you sort of got two things covered. You've got the trolling, the chance of catching a, a really good Spaniard or a barracuda. And then as we go over some really good ground, hammer up the front can just go bang and just put it in his plotter. We can come back to that spot later, anchor up and fish baits down deep. I've got one of these new Shimano bottom ship lures. As you can see, this is 110 grammer. And the fish will come in and actually hit this. And there's two hooks in there. And hopefully one of them will, uh, will get stuck in the mouth and away she goes. And the idea is just to keep on jigging them up and down, a real erratic sort of motion like a, a wounded bait fish. Gorgeous little coral trout. Just have a look at the speckles and colours. Just amazing. Those sharks. There are too many sharks out there. So that's an end to the fishing for today and the start of our last night camped out on our fantasy island. It's been a magic, memorable three days fishing off Halfway Island thanks to the generosity of our friends at CY Charters. And there's more great fishing to come tomorrow after we bid farewell to our tiny speck of sand and head back to the main base at Albany Island, where we've got all the comforts of home to look forward to our final night up here at the tip of Cape York. I love the top end of Australia. It's so remote and untouched. The fishing options are incredible. You can be out on the reef chasing GTs on poppers, trolling for mackerel, or bottom bouncing for coral trout. Or like what we're gonna do today, with small rods like this, chase the mighty barramundi up the mangrove line creeks. It's an awesome place. Travelling from Albany Island to Cape York's Jackie Jackie Creek system. Our skipper Hamish, better known as Hammer, is taking John, Mick, Levi and me on a boat trip that's literally into the heart of darkness, where we hope to lure up an elusive metre barra. We've come across to the Jackie Jackie system and there's loads of snags as you can see behind us. It's really good territory for barramundi. Lots of snags, the current's pushing in so the fish could be holding up. The bait fish is going to be sweeping by. And so the idea here, we're using uh, overhead reels, just little fellas from Shimano. This is a Raider rod, and all the boys have got 55 pound fluorocarbon trace and 30 pound braid on. These are the, the beautiful reels that we're using, these Shimanos. We've got a whole different range on here, but they're all the latest, and as you can tell, a Shimano Raider rod. It's a soft plastic by Ian Miller, beautifully balanced rod, and we're talking six to 10 kilo, so you'll be able to pull a really good barra and get him away from those sticks. Oh, jumper! Soft plastic in tune. Another colour. Another colour right. Yeah. Alright. Alright, Monday. Keep him coming. Oh, reverse. Got him. Got him. Got him. Keep him, keep the pressure on him. Sticks. Keep the pressure on him. That's alright. Just give it a little shake. He'll come. 
That's it. Going well, mate, over the sticks. Oh. Well done, anyway. We'll give it a capture. I had the leader. Wind down, wind down on him, wind, keep it right out. Oh. Yeah, you got to Come on, Mick. Great. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've still got more to go. Oh, I've oh, got him out. Oh, stay on there, fish. Yeah. The mighty Bazza, Barramundi. Go on. Off you go. Beautiful. Monday, keep him coming. Oh. Oh, I reckon. Yeah, he's in the boat. Alright. Alright, well, you want to slip him back in, mate? Well done. Alright. But isn't the fishing always better on the other side of the bend? Oh, I dropped him off. <laughs> Let's go back to that snag. No. Back this way, buddy. Come on, buddy. 70-something. Uh, 78-centimetre. Not a metery, but I tell you what, it feels like a metre at the minute. There we go. Beautiful fish. See you, buddy. Good, good fish. And a great note to end our Cape York adventure. It's time to strap in with Great Barrier Reef helicopters and say goodbye to paradise. A long way down from Cape York and only about an hour's drive west of Bundaberg, this is about as far south as you can go and still catch a barramundi. And not just any barra. About five years ago, a world record 135 centimetre monster came out of these waters here at Lake Mondurin. Now my mate Blake and I are having a go. This morning we followed our guide, Rob Howe, been cruising up through Lake Mondurin. And Rob runs guideline fishing charters and uh, he's renowned for big barramundi. And he doesn't take long to live up to his reputation this morning. Yeah, nice. Catch another one. We'll try to as well. <laughs> as usual, I'm wearing my life jacket because you never know what could happen even in a scene as idyllic as this. <laughs> yeah, you knew him. Start, mate. Start. All right. <laughs> In the net. <laughs> oh, sitting up there. Really <laughs> Good stuff. And uh, that was perfect, mate. We've been pegging away there. <laughs> How long? I've been there for a while. I reckon 100 cars each. <laughs> <laughs> like a thousand. <laughs> it does feel like a thousand. But it I guess. Just goes to show you don't leave the spot. Exactly. <laughs> Righto, you better slide him back in. Sustainability of the foods we eat is a hot topic these days and one place you'll often see a sustainable food chain in action is in the hustle and bustle of your local fish market. This week's FRDC food species is the coral trout. I'm here with Chef Paul Brahini. Now Paul, coral trout are my favourite eating fish. Yeah. 
How are you going to prepare it? Well, today, Andrew, what I'm going to do with it is I'm actually going to barbecue this uh, coral trout hull. We're going to uh, top that with a lemongrass poblanc today. Wow, sounds pretty good. While you're cooking the trout, let's find out more about this great reef species. One of the most popular of all reef species, because of its fine flaking and very tasty flesh, the coral trout we love to eat can actually be one of several species. In fact, the FRDC status of key Australian fish stocks assesses coral trout as a complex of six species of the geni Plectropomus and Variola. The only thing that I have left on here that I haven't trimmed up is this dorsal fin because that tells me when the fish is cooked. So if I can remove that just nice and gently, I know the fish is definitely cooked. So what I've got to do now with my trout is just season it with some salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. Coral trout are fished commercially from south of Brisbane all the way around northern Australia and down the west coast to north of Perth. Stock status is reported from five management units covering Western Australia, the Northern Territory, Queensland and a Commonwealth managed fishery in Torres Strait. The stock status is classified as undefined in three of the five management units where catches are small and there is insufficient information available to confidently classify the status. So now our trout's ready for the barbecue. They're classified as sustainable in the Queensland Coral Reef Fin Fish Fishery and the Torres Strait. Okay, so while the trout's uh, still cooking, I've got some white wine in here. I've got some lemongrass and I'm going to put a pinch of saffron in there. What we're making is a, a nice blanc to go over the top of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just reduce this down by about two thirds. Then we're going to add a little bit of cream. And it's a thickened cream I'm using. So I'm just going to emulsify with a few knobs of butter and we just whisk it in away from the heat. Okay, so we're just going to check our coral trout now. There we go. The trout's perfectly done. So what I'm going to do now is going to dress with some chervil. So the chervil goes over the top of our fish. So now I'm going to just top with our saffron sauce. Some beans and some tomatoes through there. And there we go. Wow, this coral trout looks amazing, mate. Well done. Head to fish.gov.au for all the facts and figures and fishfiles.com.au for more information on cooking and eating this seafood delicacy. If you want to try Paul's barbecue trout recipe, head to escapewithet.com. Go further south in Queensland's impressive system of lakes and dams and you mightn't find a barra, but there's still plenty of fishing adventure. And it's the kind of fishing I like to get up close and personal with on my ultimate stealth machine. All you need is patience. Taken a while, but finally landed a bass. Oh, nice fish. Well, there we go. A nice long fish. But I had a few bumps along that edge there, so I'll slide him back in, see if I can catch another. See ya, mate. There's a nice fish. Beautiful. Exactly what we're after. Come on, buddy. There you get. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Gosh, they're a big, fat, healthy fish, aren't they? Well, I'd hate to think how many bony brim this one's been eating because it's got a big, fat belly on it. And uh, but it didn't take long to snavel down that uh, that lure I was casting. Yeah, that's a nice bass. There we go. Beautiful. Great native. And uh, thousands of Aussies love to catch these. And it's so good that they're stocking them in impoundments all the way through New South Wales, right up through Queensland. Oh. 
Well, there you have it. Look at the yellow colours in this one. Wow. They're all around the same size, but got loads of weight in them. All right. Keen to get going, this guy. Righto, you ready? 